Hi Cancer, so I'm here to do December's readings as I've explained in all other videos this month. I'm doing December's instead of part one, part two, I'm doing them all as a collective for the December. Um, I'm due to move soon, I've no dates and things like that, so everything's in limbo. Um, so I've had to take my readings off my website because I can't um, commit to anything, especially if they're like pre if they're going to be like booked in advance um because of internet connections and things like that so what i am going to do is if you follow me on facebook divinely guided with love i will post on there uh when i'm available for one-on-ones either in person or online you can choose if you're local you could do it in person if you want um the email questions where you send me two questions and i send you a five minute video back they're still available on my website i can still do those uh so there's no problem with that um I want to thank everyone for uh, the PayPal donations. The link is it below. Um, everyone has gone above and beyond to help me and the kids the last few months. I won't go into reasons why I've mentioned it in other videos, but it has been a turbulent time, but things can only get better. Everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? So, and I have manifested the house that I wanted to manifest. I'm a lap half 11, and I have manifested the number that the house 11 that I wanted. So everything's good in the hood. Right, so I'm going to jump straight in for cancer. It's just a wait now and I'm so impatient. I just want to get in and get it sorted. <laughs> right, cancer for December. Shadow card. So you could be dealing with Pisces or you could be going up against uh, illusions, liars, you know, these the truths. Truths coming out with the shadow card it is the moon the moon sheds light on illusions it also a lot of time it sheds light on people who have been putting out illusions so the challenge is the mental conflict the challenge is for you to get out of your head and stop overthinking things because whatever illusions are around i don't feel like they could be coming at you but I feel like they're going to be seen for what they are, if that makes sense. I know we're only two cards in, but I'm getting a kind of storyline in my head here. So we'll see what goes on here. Why is it coming away now? Prosperity to begin. So a brand new fresh start. So we want something. We want a brand new fresh start or we want to kind of get rid of something. It's like sowing the seed for something to come into fruition so you can finally pick the fruit, you know, see the fruits of your labour. Get to the end of a turbulent time from what I'm seeing. The shadow card is 18, which is a nine numerology. So we're heading towards an ending. So recent past, yeah, discontent and boredom, feeling trapped. Um, it's also like, if this is a person, they could have been putting out false illusions about you. And you could be bothered about what other people think on the outside. So you kind of like staying quiet and keeping your mouth shut. If, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not a nice energy to be in in the recent past. It's feeling stuck. At present though, we've got recognition and um, reward. So you will be recognised. I got legal in my head then. So if this is something to do with legalities, I wouldn't be worried. Because his head's down. You know, the light's shining down. His head's down. I feel like someone's true colours are going to be shown. And in this card, I pick up shame for some reason in your reading. I don't usually pick up that when I pick up this card. So it's like someone hanging their head in shame. Some kind of illusion is coming out. Some kind of truth is coming out. But I felt like I feel like you know you've known the truth. So near future, fulfillment of wishes. So a wish comes true, the end of this situation, it's almost like you can sit back and smell the flowers now. So it's definitely come into a close. Your power in this situation for Cancer. Cancer's power in this situation. The waiting game. So even though you feel like nothing's happening, something most definitely is happening, your power in this situation is just to be patient. Allow the divine to shed the light on situations. People wake up. Outside influence, emotional loss. So, I don't know why I'm getting angry with this instead of emotional loss, but 
um, it's a vibration so the outside influence it could be hurting you something could someone could have hurt you um, they could have hurt your heart chakra or they're taking their hurt out on you that could be the illusion you know they, they're not ready to face their own demons type thing hope sophia's balance you just want balance 11 archangel michael protection balance peace peace and harmony and yet i come let's have a look right so we've got heartache and loss i feel like there's, there's a need to escape like something or someone um she's protecting a sacral chakra in that card so it could be from a past relationship or it could be regarding children i'm feeling more like a past relationship so it could have been like abusive the out with it being free it's body mind and spirit but the heartache and loss card it's like turn around and escape get out of there or you're escaping a situation the heartache and loss it's like i feel like that's going to be over but let me clarify it yeah because you get triumph so i feel like someone's not treated you well in the past and the the light is shining on it whether it be legal matters or whether it be the people around um they're see, they're, they're going to see the truth in the situation triumph there's too many red flags for people to ignore what's going on here if this is making sense to anybody so let's get into your 3d cards or well, your spiritual cards are quite 3d So for my cancers, seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So yeah, I do feel like you're going up against someone. You don't want the drama though, or the chaos to come with it. It's kind of, you do need, it's like a, a feeling of needing to justify yourself. You do have to defend your beliefs and decisions and stand your ground with someone, but kind of not get into the battles, get into the reactions, that type of thing um so there's definitely a need to, to defend yourself or you feel that that way um the challenge is the dreamer so you you want a brand new fresh start uh, a leap of faith all your dreams on unexpected opportunities it is the full card it's a brand new beginning so it's almost as if we need to sort this out and then we can go on for a, a new beginning i say we i'm not cantarian i'm just going in your energy that's all <laughs> So why is it coming around now? The S of Air definitely could be a legal situation. So the S of Air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of situations, challenging beginning. So someone could challenge it. You could, or you could be going up against a challenging person. There could be an air sign. Um, but we've got fire here as well. But I feel like the truth is this situation is going to come out. The S of Air. So recent past. So we've got the lovers, sign of Gemini. Months May, June. Intimate relationships, carefully weighing decisions and good health. So we'll have a look at that. So we've got Gemini there, which could be the air sign, or it could be a timing of something. It could be about a past relationship, so you could be going up against an ex-partner. At present, we've got the King of Water, so you could be going, this could be you, or you could be going up against another water sign. Open your heart to, to a man to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice. So I feel like you need to speak your truth about something that's happened within a relationship or something like that, um, or towards that person. Near future, we've got the Four of Earth. So that's why the Four of Pentacles is holding on to one pentacle um, for that safety, but if it just releases it, there's three more pentacles on the floor that could pick up. So you gain more, it's to gain, but it's to let go and gain. Your power in this situation, the sixth of earth, is to bring balance into this situation. I keep getting legal, especially when I see scales. Uh, give some money, time, or effort. Um, but the sixth of earth, I'm picking up more balance, equal give and take, compromise. Outside influence to that is strength. So we've got Leo, number 11. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So I do feel like you're going to be speaking your truth. There's going to be like, there's a need for forgiveness, whether it's you forgiving yourself um, for allowing yourself to be put in that situation or you're forgiving the person who actually did put you in that situation. Because sometimes, yeah, people don't deserve forgiveness, but you deserve to move on, if you get what I mean. So Hope Sophia is the nine of air. 
So expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless night. So it, it seems like you're quite worried about this. Your outcome is the store though, I wish being granted. You could be going into Aquarius season. Uh, last week in January, going through to February, I think it's the 21st. Uh, the star happy times positive uh, make positive optimistic long-term plans you're on the right path so something goes in your favor so let me clarify so the seven of fire why are we defending ourselves the six of cups so that can be issues regarding children so you might be defending your child or someone else's child so the challenge we've got is we've got the queen of wands when the Queen of Wands is a challenge, I see it as someone who's faster. And we've got the Page of Pentacles. So it's nudes, it's messages, it's correspondence, it's communication. So the challenge is there's probably no communication. Could be going to court for CSA or something. The Ace of Air. King of Wands in reverse. You're dealing with a narcissist. Mm. So recent past, the lovers, Page of Wands. So, that looks like immature behaviour. We've got the Seven of Swords, cheating, lying, deceiving, deception. So, the King of Water at present. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Definitely could be courtroom drama, this. All legal issues. There could have been a third party situation. Because on top of that, we get the Three of Cups. I feel like you're going to be celebrating something that you can't see just yet. Or if it is a third party situation, I feel like they've done you a favour because it's given you the escape route to get out. There's a blessing coming in. You just can't see it. The blessing could be coming in for. So the Four of Earth. The Four of Earth near future no more juggling so there's a decision being made the foot and then you can go off on your brand new fresh start it's like you're being released so your power is the knight of swords and the king of cups so your power is you taking action in order to put balance to this situation it's quick and speedy action I feel like I'm picking up water sand, class, uh, going against the water sand. I've got a fire though as well, but there's a lot of water here. So the outside influence. Right, so we've got instability. So not stable, not trustworthy, not something that you can like invest in, you know, that type of thing. Or someone who's not willing to invest the ten of pentacles in reverse um and we've got the hanged man so like light bulb moments epiphany seeing things from a different perspective um this person could be seeing things from a different perspective from you or from everyone else yeah it's almost like they're blindfolding themselves because they don't want to see the truth of the situation or what they've done so it to me i'm getting a very defensive energy a very defensive energy so the outcome being the star, we've got the moon. So which is Pisces, but the moon sheds light on illusions. It can also mean domestics, arguments. There could be, but for some reason, it's a blessing in disguise for you. It works out better for you. So the moon, which gives you the four of pentacles, letting go. So the moon, the tower... I don't feel it's your tower. I want to clarify it, but I feel like it's the person that you're going up against. I feel like they're going to show the true colours, which will then be a blessing granted to yourself. The emperor in reverse. This 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 person is losing control. This person is very controlling that you're going up against, but he's losing. She's losing. Whoever. It's ending. Could be Scorpio. We've got the death card. This situation is ending. This person has lost control of you. We've got the lovers and we've got the battle. So yeah, I do feel like it's an ex-partner. Could be a Gemini. But I've got Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini. 
we've also got a bit of fire five of wands so a battle four of swords they're telling you to rest like not overthink it i feel like it's working it's going to work out in your favor anyway someone's going to show the true colors So we've got the Knight of Pentacles, so slow and methodical thinking, it's almost as if that like, they think they've, they're on a winner type thing and then the King of Pentacles, it's like being kicked in the dick basically, but the King of Pentacles in reverse can be quite greedy and things like that, so the energy you're going up against is not right nice, but it looks like you're coming out shiny. It, it, it's, yeah. You're definitely releasing yourself from a situation here. Most definitely releasing. So let's get you a bit harsh reading, weren't it? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Wide open. 42. Oh, right. So, 42. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. All manners of opportunities are pre presented to you at this time. The wide open card is a signal that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and that your goals are in sight. Don't remain small and contracted. Instead, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations. You have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world. You've got to speak your truth. Uh, the universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time, so speak up and speak out. This card is the sign of the maverick who freely roams the wide open space of possibility. Allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream. If you are in, <laughs> if you are in an abusive relationship, I said that at 1717, so I'll check 1717. Um or you're just coming out of an abusive relationship, there's most definitely a need to speak up and speak out and ask for guidance. Uh, I would definitely be looking at, I said 1717, I've just noticed the card starts on 117. So there could be some uh, angel numbers there for you in the ones and the sevens. So I really do wish you well with that reading. It's time to end that cycle. It really is. It's, it's abusive, I can feel it. Okay, so I really hope that helps one out there. I'm really sorry if you're rocking. I've got a new camera stand and it's a bit uh, unstable on this table. But um, please, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're allowed to, if it's not legal, write in the comments, tell me your story. I always read them and reply. Uh, and I wish you the best of luck for December. Okay, bye.